Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. There aren't a lot of workspace customizations one could do to the so-called cloud version of Lightroom, although there are a few things you could do. In today's video, I'm going to go over how you could customize Lightroom's workspace so it works best for you. For today's video, I'll have a photo of Koga displayed in Lightroom. Koga was the silverback gorilla at the Buffalo Zoo, and sadly, Koga died yesterday, so in his honor, I'll have his photo displayed in Lightroom during this video. Okay, let's start with the right-hand edit panel. You could add a couple things to it. By default, it won't have the histogram showing. If you'd like to add the histogram to the right-hand panel, click these three dots and then go down to show histogram and it will appear at the top. Now, if you're familiar with Lightroom Classic, you probably know that there is a tab in Lightroom Classic called Camera Calibration. By default, that tab will not appear in Lightroom, but you could add it to the right-hand panel. Again, click on these three dots, then go down to Show Color Calibration. And when you do, it will appear at the bottom of the color section. And when I roll it open, you'll notice it is the same exact tab that is in Lightroom Classic, same exact controls. Now, I have this color tab open. If I open the light tab, the color tab stays open, the light tab opens. If I open the effects tab, those other two tabs stay open, and the effects tab opens. If, again, you're familiar with Lightroom Classic, you probably know that there is a mode called Solo Mode. With Solo Mode, if you have one tab open, then open a second tab. When that second tab opens, it will automatically close the first tab. Well, that mode is available in Lightroom as well. It's not called solo mode though. It's called single panel mode. And to activate it, again, go to these three dots, then go down to single panel mode. And with single panel mode, again, when you have one tab open and then you open a second tab, let's say I have light open and I open detail. When I open detail, light will automatically close. If I open color, detail will close and so on. Now, personally, I prefer to have the histogram. I prefer to have the color calibration and I prefer to be in single panel mode or solo mode. So that's the way I like to have my edit panel set up. Now there's a bit more you could do. Let's go to Lightroom Preferences. If you have a Mac, Preferences is under the Adobe Lightroom menu. If you have a PC, it's under the Edit menu. With Preferences, we're going to scoot down to the Interface tab. And you'll notice that you could choose your language. And then under that, you have an option for text size. By default, it's going to be showing small text throughout all of Lightroom. If it's too small and you want to make it a bit bigger, you could change it to large, but the changes will not take effect until you shut down and restart Lightroom. Now, what I've done so that I don't have to do that live here, or at least during this video, is I've actually done that ahead of time and I've made some screenshots. On the left-hand side is the large text, and on the right-hand side is the small text. So you can see the difference. It's not a great difference. Uh, edit is considerably bigger, the word edit. Light is slightly bigger. The control names or the slider names are slightly bigger, but overall there isn't a big change. But again, if you have trouble seeing the small text, hopefully the larger text will help. Now, I of course am using a Mac. This might be slightly different on a PC. Uh, from what I understand, with Lightroom Classic, it is a bit different on a PC and there's more dramatic uh, difference between the two. And if I'm not mistaken, there's more options. You don't have just the option of large and small on a PC. I may be wrong. I don't own a PC and I can't check it. But maybe someone in the comments could mention whether or not uh, the text size on a PC is any different than the Mac. So you could change the text size. That's one thing. Let's go back to Preferences. And we'll jump down to interface again. And we have this edit panel layout, normal. You'll notice there is an option for compact. Now I could change it here, but I also could change that right on the panel itself. On the right hand panel, if I just right click right on there, I could go to compact here. Now let's look at the difference before I do it. Let's open up light and let's right click and go to compact. And you can see how it makes everything considerably smaller in here. Again, I'll just go to normal and compact. So you can see the difference. I prefer normal myself. 
Uh, so, and it does it for all of them. So if I go to compact here, it's going to be compact up here as well. It's not allowing me to have, let's say, light compact and detail normal. You, it's either all for one or one for all. So uh, I prefer normal. So you could do that there by right-clicking, or you could, again, go to Preferences and do that as well. Again, it's in the Interface tab here. Now, there's really only one more thing that you could customize uh, that I know of, if there's anything else mentioned in the comments, uh, but it's the panel tracks. I have mine set to automatic. The other option is manual. Now, panel tracks has, uh, is referring to uh, the left and right-hand panel. I mentioned I had mine set to automatic. I'm in the edit panel right now. If I want to go to the photos panel, I could click right here or I could hit the P key on my keyboard, right? As soon as I hit the P key or click up there, it will automatically close the right-hand panel and open the left-hand panel. If I want to jump back to the edit panel, I hit the E key to go to the edit panel. It automatically closes the photo panel and opens the edit panel. That's automatic mode. Again, I don't have to hit the keyboard shortcuts. I could click the little icons at the top there and do it that way. And you'll see how it automatically closes the, oh, the previous panel or the other panel. Um, if you don't like that, you want to do it manually, just go to Preferences. And again, you would jump down to that interface section and take it off automatic and put it on manual. And I think manual actually is the default setting. Click Done. Now, if I open up the Photos tab by hitting the P key on my keyboard, notice that the Edit tab or the Edit panel stays open. So I have to manually close them. I could manually close them by hitting the keyboard shortcuts or by clicking on the icons like there or clicking over here. So that's really all the customization available that I know of uh, in the so-called cloud version of Lightroom, although the official name of the application is Lightroom. Again, if there's anything else, mention it in the comments uh, below so that we all could learn some new customization tricks uh, for this version of Lightroom. And thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.